Hi guys, welcome back to Farmers. In this video, I have seven new professions with their salaries and equivalent degree lengths to share with you. Uh, healthcare professionals, stay tuned, especially if you're an aspiring healthcare professional, maybe you're in high school, and you need to have an idea of what the different professions are out there and how much everyone is making, as well as a little bit or like a hint into a career guidance, which is so much needed. Okay, so to make it interesting and fun for you guys, I have actually listed these seven professions in chronological order of increasing salary. So I'm going to keep the highest paying one for the end. And if you want to take a guess, comment below right now and tell me which one you think is the highest paying amongst the following professions. Okay. Okay. The seven professions that I'm going to speak on are audiologist, occupational health therapist, microbiologist, physiotherapist, pharmaceutical or medical reps, representatives, medical lab scientists, and dietitians. Let me know right now in the comments below which one you think earns the most, and then stay tuned until the very end to see which one it actually is. So let's begin with the least paying profession. These are the MLS, the Medical Laboratory Scientists, averaging around 240,000 rands a year. These people spend about four years at school getting a degree in things like diagnostics and scientific interpretations. Coming in next after the medical laboratory scientists are the pharmaceutical and medical reps. Now, the medical reps tend to earn a little bit more depending on which devices and which company they're representing. But on average, an entry level pharmaceutical rep will earn about 360,000 rands a year. Bear in mind, they only need to have a three-year BSc or undergrad degree in related medical or pharmaceutical sciences. But obviously, the longer you spend at the profession, the more competent you become, the more experience you get, your salary also tends to go higher. You probably would have seen a medical rep at a doctor's office or in a pharmacy promoting new products, new releases, and new applications of products with new pricing to the medical staff or the pharmacy staff in order to meet sale targets. These are the hustlers and the salespeople of the pharma and medical world. If you're a people's person, if you can sell, this job is definitely for you. Next on the list, we have, drum roll, audiologists. These people usually cash in at entry level around 367,000 rands a year. To become an audiologist in South Africa, you need to do a four-year undergrad degree, which majors in communication disorders and pathology. Number four on the list are microbiologists. These guys get an entry level average of around 400,000 rands per year. You need a three year undergrad bachelor degree in microbiology or sometimes biotechnology, depending on how that university has structured their schools. Microbiologists have the advantage of being able to integrate multiple industries. They can be in biotech, pharma, medical, and even food and agricultural because the application of microbiology are numerous. Next, we have occupational therapists. 
These people at entry level usually get on average around 420,000 rands per year. In order to become an occupational therapist, you're going to have to do a four-year undergrad degree at any one of the universities that offer it, and you will major in rehabilitation and recovery skills for people to get back to their daily lives or to their work. Usually it's people who have had debilitating illnesses or conditions or even accidents. Number six on the list are dietitians. These guys get on average 480,000 rands a year. To become a dietitian, you are gonna have to spend four years in an undergrad degree or two years in a postgrad degree, which is only offered at UCT, by the way. And this is in scientific nutrition or nutritional science and dietetics. Dietetics? Dietics? <laughs> Whatever that word is. Last but definitely not least, we have the physiotherapists. Now, these people are cashing in on average at 700,000 rands per annum. I was a little surprised, but when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. A lot of physios work for private companies and sports events and sporting um, clubs and things where there's a lot of cash flow and there's a lot of money. So I guess that's why they make so much. But in order for you to become a physio, you're gonna have to spend three years in an undergrad degree, which will focus on physical rehabilitation of patients. That's all we have for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below, which of these professions were surprising to you? Are you considering any one of them? And just a disclaimer to say, the salaries reported in this video come from the Payscale and za.talent.com websites, so their accuracies are as good as the reporting, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Until then, take care.